folks, welcome to another episode of Adventures in Dog Training with American Standard Dog Training and American Overwatch Canine Services. Over here is Cynthia. So Cynthia is from South Florida and she reached out a few weeks ago because she has a dog that has some issues. So that's what this episode is about. Stay tuned. I think you'll like it. We'll go ahead and introduce her and tell you all about the dog. Um, I have a one-year-old Australian Shepherd. Her name is Ava. I'm having some issues with like her being aggressive towards like people when we're walking. She like barks nonstop. Um, maybe like a month ago, she bit me. Um, I was coming out of the elevator where I stay, and um, there were some people coming in, and she started barking. So I put my leg in front of her to like kind of push her back, and she bit me. So I'm having like issues with that right now. So right now, Ava is off screen. She's in Cynthia's car. We got her hanging out because uh, we need to get this interview done and have all of our tools and everything in place. Uh, everything we do is planned and structured, and structured accordingly because we don't want to have any mistakes or any accidents. I already know for a fact we're going to need to use some type of corrective tool to let her know that lunging, biking, uh, biting, barking, trying to kill people is not good for you. So we're going to go ahead and put the prong collar on. This is going to give me more control over the dog anyways. Ideally, we shouldn't have to use it, but you know that's very wishful thinking. Uh, we're going to use either a combination of prong collar to deliver corrections as needed, or we may switch over to a slip lead. Uh, a lot of positive-only trainers are using slip leads, and that's great, but uh, slip leads are actually more averse than this. So how about that one, you positive-only trainers? Slip leads can be highly aversive. Anyhow, I'm going to show her how to put it on, and then when she's comfortable with it, we're going to have her put it on the dog, because I think at this point the dog probably wouldn't be happy with me getting anywhere near her. So we need to have a little bit of control on, we'll call this a steering wheel. I need a steering wheel on that, uh, on that dog before we pull her out. So uh -huh. put your hand out like you're a puppy. Good dog. All right, so we're gonna put this on. This is how you do it. You're gonna uh -huh. come underneath and clip it. After you clip it, make sure you pull and then it, it, it did clip. And then I'd like you to rotate it. And uh -huh. then I'm gonna have you take the leash and hook it to the top one. You see how that's the bottom one? Uh -huh. Make sure it's the top one, okay? okay. Um, if for whatever reason it's you're really struggling to put it on because it's too loose, because we're gonna eyeball it, then I can add a link, okay? Okay. If it's too tight or too loose, I can add or take out a link. Okay. And I'm going to show you real quick how this works. We'll put it on your skin. I like the owners to know exactly what it feels like. It's not the end of the world. So basically, if you do something you're not supposed to do, I say stop doing that, okay? And what this is simulating is mama's teeth, all right? Mama's teeth's ready to go, and you're the mama. And if okay. she bites at someone, barks at someone, it's stop doing that. Or like, how would you find us? Um, on Google. Google, all right. Yes. Hey, Google, thank you. All right, let's get this dog fixed. <laughs> Ava. See the hackles up. <clears throat> the hackles up. The hackles up is the first sign of some anxiety, right? It's like the hair standing up on your arms, uh, and you can see it there. The, the hackles are up on the, in the shoulders and on the rump, and it's just. It's okay. Nope. We'll explain a little bit more when she quiets down exactly what's going on in the dog's mind. But let's keep an eye on the dog, as you can see. And that's pretty bad. You can go ahead and get um, the other dog. We're gonna bring out another dog just to see. Obviously, you can look around, you can pan around. It's just us standing around. We're not doing anything. <laughs> this is literally nothing to bark about. It's calming down, which I think you said is typical. Once she realizes no one's here to hurt her, yeah. she'll be a little more calm. So I'm just gonna simulate something. I'm just gonna walk by her again and see if she fires off. Exactly. And you hear that howl, very interesting. That's what we call an alarm howl, right? That's like what an omega dog would do. We call it an omega. You got alphas, betas, everything else. Bottom rung, omegas. Omegas like to sound the alarm. That's her alarm. Oh my God! What? Oh my God, what? And you see how she backed away 
when I make a sudden movement towards her, it's because she's actually afraid. Now, hopefully you can hear me. Now, when she quiets down a little more, we'll really dive in and explain to you what, um, why she's acting this way. Now, what I was gonna say is I'm gonna walk by her, just see how the dog does. How you doing? I just wanna see. Yeah. So let's, let's peel over here so it's a little quieter while we wait for the other dog to come out. All right, so as you've got a glimpse, just a glimpse as to what we're dealing with, it's, it's actually worse than I thought it was gonna be. It's really bad, completely fear-based. And again, to me, the worst type of aggression is fear-based aggression because it's very unpredictable. Uh, if the wind blows, she gets scared. And my job now is to explain to you why this is happening. She, whether it's bad genetics or poor socialization, and that's a combination of two things, right? Nature versus nurture. The genetics of it, maybe it's just bad genetics. Maybe the mom and dad were both scaredy cats or schizophrenic, like the schizophrenic version of a dog. Well, they got a schizophrenic dog, puppy. Now we have also the nurture. Maybe the dog was great genetics, but because of COVID or who knows what, something happened in her past as a puppy uh, the dog got scared and developed this cycle that I'm going to explain to you now. And here's the cycle that's going on in the dog's mind. Oh my God, I'm scared of that person there. Hey, what are you looking at? Get away from me. If I act crazy, you leave me alone. I'm crazy as hell. I'm crazy. That's what the dog's doing. And it's worked. Why? Because the other guy across the street's going, what the hell's wrong with you? And goes the other way. So let's just walk. Perfect, I'm happy enough. Unclip your leash. Yeah. <clears throat> yep, and then I'm just gonna ask you to drift off to the side. Now, when she goes to fire off at other dog, fire off at whatever's on the horizon, she ain't gonna have a chance to fire off because I'm gonna change directions. And she's gonna start to learn, I can't focus on the other dogs down the street. I can't focus on that person over there that's scaring me because every time that a person appears on the horizon, it's so, so likely that the tugboat's gonna change direction. So now we switch their focus from the thing that's scaring them to, man, I, I gotta watch this tugboat. I mean, that's scary, but you're always changing directions on me. So that's all we're doing, teaching her a game. Follow the leader, stay with the tugboat. So it's been about two hours. Obviously there's a lot of like behind the scenes with the filming and whatnot, but all in all, we pretty much had this problem taken care of in about really 15 minutes worth of work. Um, and anyways, I don't want to put words in anyone's mouth. We'll hear it directly from Cynthia. You tell us your experience before, after, what are your thoughts on the whole process? Um, I'm really happy. She came a different dog, really aggressive. I couldn't barely even walk with her and now she's completely different. I can actually walk with her next to me and she's more calm and I never seen people get close to her and actually be able to pet her. So it's, it's amazing. What's, yeah. what's one of your biggest takeaways? Like what's something that you're going to take with you as far as tomorrow? Definitely everything. I'm going to start even like later on today with everything you showed me, how to interact with the new people, like how to get her just to focus on me. Okay, good. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I actually have really high hopes for her. Um, she still has a lot of issues underneath the surface. She's just generally what we call that Omega dog. She's a little bit of a scaredy cat, but it's just gonna get better and better with time. I mean, we've already seen a night and day difference, not only just with her behavior before and after, but I already see her personality coming out. We can check her out right now. She thinks I'm the money man. She, <laughs> you, you bring some hot dogs out and this girl wants to be your best friend. But we can't even do this until we got rid of those little demons that were looking there. So we got rid of those demons, and uh, that's why sometimes I introduce myself as Puppy Jesus. We did a little exorcism today, <laughs> and here we are. All right? 
they're just a sweet dog. I mean, when you get to know her, what a sweetheart of a dog. But we had to get rid of a little bit of that ugly. So anyways, I'm really proud of her. I'm really, really proud of Cynthia. She took everything I told her. She's a natural uh, handler, if you will. Uh, showed her how to deliver those, those corrections on the leash, how to do those U-turns, and she nailed them. Sometimes we spend a lot of time trying to teach that, and she got it right off rip. So really looking forward to see where she is two, three, four weeks from now, and I expect it not to be just this good, but better, but better. It's absolutely possible. Folks, if you like what you saw here and you want to see more, you want to see the behind the scenes, you want to see the parts, the clips that are missing so that you can train your dog at home, make sure to click the link in the description, which will take you to our mailing list where we can send out updates and some behind the scenes footage and show you where you can get that footage. So we'll see you on the next video.